Good morning, everybody. This is Nancy, and welcome to Flow Together Wednesdays. Uh, oh, no, yeah, my, my <laughs> camera's on. Uh, today, we're going to be working into Hanumanasana. Uh, you also might have noticed a little change of scenery. Uh, our, whenever the guinea pigs are out in the pen, I can't go toward the window because that's where the guinea pig pen is. Uh, and also, half of our electricity is out, so I've had to uh, make some adjustments. Uh, so... Uh, let's, uh, no further ado, let's come right into uh, our starting pose, child's pose. So knees wide, feet together, uh, bolster between the knees so we can rest the heart. So the bolster is just supporting the chest here. So the belly has all this lovely space to fill up. And then the, the exhale, we're going to get a little active by pulling the navel in and up toward the spine. Not, not a big clench, just a gentle pull. And let's release the arms. Let's just kind of relax the shoulders. We're only going to be here for a couple breaths. I'll, and one cheek against the bolster. Here. Halfway, we'll switch. So come into that belly breath. Maybe take a few ha to kind of arrive in this midweek moment. Okay, my friends who have one cheek turned to the bolster, let's go ahead and turn the other cheek. Smooth inhales and exhales through the nose. We breathe in and out through the nose so we can filter what's coming in. Then we can preserve the heat in our bodies from what's coming out. Keeping the tapas fires burning throughout our practice. Last breath here. Flip the palms. Let's bring the hands under the shoulders. Draw the navel in. And we'll lift up. Let's get the bolster out of the way. We're going to keep the knees wide as we sit up on our heels. And we're gonna bring the hands to the front of the fingers to the front of the knees so that when we curl back, our, our spine does a nice rounding and we feel a pull through our trapezius. As we inhale, slide the hands up the thighs, thumbs come into the hip creases, elbows pull behind us as we lift the heart. And then exhale, reverse it. So doing this kind of cat cow variation. Inhale, slide those thumbs up, pull the elbows and shoulders back, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the chin, pull the navel in, round the spine. Last one, inhale. And come on up to neutral. We're gonna set the left hand, even with the feet, and just swing the right arm in a big circle. And then we come back, back up, other side. Inhale, swing it up. Exhale, we're back to neutral. Right arm swings. Keeping the sit bones on the ground. And last one. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms out to the side. Out to the right side. Look back at that uh, left thumb. Right thumb, <laughs> inhale up. Exhale the other way. Inhale up, just using the muscles of our torso to get into the twist. And next time we come over to the right side, we're gonna stay. Reach back with the right hand, left hand creates a lever. And then we settle pinky side down and the fingertips on the ground are going to help kind of pull the chest around as well. Nice big breath. Explore where it goes. Inhale to come up. Exhale the other way. We'll take that. We'll get the lever with our right hand. Look back at the left thumb. Sit bones rooted into the heels. And then we lower the fingertips toward the mat. Palms still facing outward. 
Big breath down the twist. Inhale to center. And exhale, hands circle around behind the hips. And as we inhale, we're going to lift the hips off the heels. Let's squeeze the shoulder blades together like we're doing an upward, upward plank. Inhale here, and as we exhale, set the, set the heels and we're on the spine. Hands come around back, inhale, lift. Sit and curl. Inhale, lift the heart. And we'll stay for three. Tuck the tailbone. Lift the pelvis toward the chin. And exhale down. Let's swing the hands forward. Come into tabletop. Let's tap out the feet. Sway the hips. Bend and straighten the legs. Give them a little shake. See which way I'm gonna do my top of the mat. I think the top of the mat's over here. Okay, tuck the toes. Let's come into our first down dog. Let's come right up onto the toes. Inhale out into plank. And as we exhale, we're gonna bend the knees. So the knees are just gonna, the shins are gonna be parallel to the floor. Push the hips back. And at the top of the exhale, we're in the down dog. Inhale, roll it out to plank. Exhale, push it back. Elbows and knees bend. So soften the elbows toward the ground too. Finish the exhale. Let's see if we can just kind of coordinate without any pauses. Just the breath kind of naturally inhaling as we come forward. And exhaling as we circle around. Heels sink. Nice. Okay, let's move the both feet in toward the midline just a little bit. We're going to inhale the right, no, left leg up, left leg up. Keep the toes pointing down toward the ground. We're going to use this leg as a lever to hop to the front of the mat. And use it as a lever to hop it back. We'll do that three more times. And next time you hop forward, we're going to stay there. And we're going to take this left leg, bring it behind the right, and try to get the outer blades of the feet uh, together. And let's soften that left knee so that we're not hyperextending. If, uh, if it's difficult to get the fingers to the floor, go ahead and get blocks. Release the head. Gently explore the, the whole spectrum of the twist by swaying the head to the right. And then swaying the head over to the left. You notice the hips shift in the opposite direction. Exhale everything. Inhale with that back. Exhale hands to hips. Inhale the rise. Okay, let's weight into the right foot, free up the left, and let's get it. Get a little quad stretch. So keep the knees kissing for this first part. Use your right arm to balance. Draw the navel up and in. I love balances because I'm so bad at them. <laughs> no, we don't want to use bad because I tend to be wobbly. See, that's the fact. Bad is not a fact. Wobbly is a fact. Okay, now let's reach on up with the right hand, palm faces forward. Let's kick into the left leg as we come into dancer. Not a big dancer, because we haven't done a lot of uh, stretching out of the quad yet. And also we're just using it as a transition to come into airplane. Inhale in airplane, exhale the fingers onto your blocks or onto the ground, anything it allows you to keep a flat back. Let's curl the, the left thigh down. Okay, so we're not, we're not stacking the hips. We're keeping everything nice and aligned. 
Inhale here as we exhale, we're gonna bend both knees and bring the left knee to the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crack. Inhale, extend it out. Let's fly. And let's step all the way back into our crescent lunge. So press back into that left heel to keep the hips nice and square, nice and straight through that left leg. That's our strong foundation of this pose. Inhale here. Exhale. Let's open to the out to the right. Let's keep the right hand moving. Inhale, lift up. Pull back. Exhale, open, keep your balance. Inhale, up. And as we exhale, open, let's take an inhale here in the open twist. And then as we exhale, left hand comes under left shoulder. And here we are in a, in a low lunge twist. Keep pushing back with the left foot. And mirroring here. Okay. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to. Circle around. The hips are going to lift a little bit so we can bring this right arm between the left arm and the right leg and point back at the left toes. Inhale to rise up. Let's set the knee on the ground. Exhale, lift the left foot and get it with the right hand. Inhale to come up. So our inhales are always going to be reaching up. Let's lift the back knee. Exhale, circle that arm all the way around. Point back at the toes. Inhale, we're back up into our twist. Exhale, we say hi to our left corner. Inhale up, tuck the back toe. And exhale, let's find that cycle without a pause. Inhale as we come up and through. Exhale, here's our pause. We can have a pause here. Inhale. And exhale. One, inhale, knee on up. Exhale to get the foot. Inhale, back up. And this time as we exhale, the hand's gonna come to the inside. Oh, no, the hand's gonna frame the right foot. So here we are in our low lunge on Doniasana. Inhale the heart forward. Exhale, slide the hips back. Inhale, come forward, tuck the toes, lift the knee. Exhale, hips back and up. Inhale forward, roll the left hip into the ground, exhale straighten the right leg, keep the arms reaching ahead, inhale forward, lift the back knee, exhale back, inhale drop that hip, oh, feel that yumminess in the hip flexor, and now exhale as we come back, we're going to come all the way back, curl the left foot in, so we sit on back at the back of the mat with uh, Janu Shirshasana. So left foot snuggled into the right thigh, press in nice and long. Orient yourself over the extended leg. Let's bring the thumbs right up into the hip crease. Push down on the upper thigh to lift the heart. Exhale. Inhale to sit up. Exhale to slide down. And this next one, we're going to stay for five breaths. So lean the heart forward. Walk the hands past the foot if it can. Maybe get the left cheek to the outside of the right knee. Press the foot into the thigh. Find not only the hamstring stretch, maybe the calf. That's the foot. You may also feel something around the back of the left waist as we orient over the leg in a bit of a rotation. And we finish your next exhale all the way. Pull the needle in toward the spine. Inhale to look at the toes. Exhale to come on up. Bend the knee slightly so we can slip this left foot under as we roll forward and all the way up. Okay. Now lower the head in toward the ground. Okay, let's flex the left foot, point the toes toward the ground. And now as we exhale, we're going to bend both knees, but this time we're going to bring the knee to kiss the right calf. 
Inhale, extend out, crown of the head toward the ground. So we're not flat backing it, we're, we're hanging over that leg. And exhale. Inhale, extend long, toes to the ground, drop the outer left hip. And now on our next exhale, we're gonna set the left foot halfway back, heels in line, but the left toes are pointing out at about 45 degree angle. Let's reach long with the, as far forward with the hands as we can. Hug the right hip in and lift the right tailbone. Roll the left hip forward from the weight on the back heel. Drag that foot toward you, even though it's not going to move. Beautiful. Let's step forward to the top of the mat. Hang heavy over both legs, opposite palm to opposite arm to give us a little more gravity spilling out of the hips. Big breath into the thigh. And release the arms. On an inhale, let's get a flat back. Press into the shins, press into the ground. As we exhale, plant the hands, step or hop it back into plank and lower down into chaturanga. Inhale, and up dog. Let's take an extra breath and up bend. Push the chest forward, pull the shoulders back. Reach back with the toes. And let's roll over the toes to come back into down dog. <sighs> Lovely. Okay, let's step the feet just a little bit closer than hip width apart. Press into the ball of the uh, left foot. And we're going to lift the right foot. Toes still point to the ground. So the hip wants to rise, but we're not going to let it. Okay, we're going to use the heel as kind of a fulcrum. Look at the hands and give a little, or don't look at the hands yet. Hop up to the hands. Now we're going to upgrade the hands. Hop back. Forward. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> All right, next time we come forward, we're going to stay. Keep the back leg extended. Let's give ourselves a flat back. Roll the outer hip down toward the ground. As we exhale, bend both knees. Knee comes in toward the nose. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, pull in. Okay, this time as the right leg pulls in, it's going to cross behind the other leg. Outer foot, meet. Once we cross at the ankles, we come into a forward fold here. So again, soften the, the right knee. Hang heavy. So that we're looking at the shins. We're not looking at the ground. And then we explore. Shifting the hips one way. Breathing there. Shifting the hips the other way. Let's come back to center. Let's inhale a flat back. Exhale, hands to hips. Mind your balance. As we rise on up. We sink the weight into the right leg, or left leg. Free up the right. And get it. Okay. Kiss the knees together. Pull the navel up and in. Enjoy your wobbles with me. <laughs> Okay, find that engagement, find that stretch through the quad before we even move anywhere else as a dancer. And then we reach up and we kick into the hand as the heart moves forward. Let's keep the knee in line with the hip behind us. Uh, and again, this isn't our, our big dancer. This is our 
our transition dancer because then we're going to extend the leg long and come right into airplane. Inhale in airplane. And we're going to step big back into crescent lunge. And square up the hips. Press back through the heel. Inhale. And as we exhale, we open to the left. Let's keep the left arm moving. Inhale forward, lift the heart. And let go open. Okay, next time we open in our twist, we'll stay there for an extra breath. Maybe look back at that left thumb. And on our next exhale, right hand comes under the right shoulder, reach up with that left hand. And we're gonna circle that hand around. It's gonna come between the right hand and the left leg and to point back at the right toes. Inhale to open up, lower the back knee. Exhale, reach back and get the foot, the right foot. Inhale up, go. Exhale, circle around. Left shoulder hug, kissing the left knee. Make sure the left knee is over the right ankle and not moving past it. And not winging out either. Inhale is always up. And let's hold that foot for an extra breath. Drop that right hip into the ground. And let's axle the foot down, circle the Left hand around, let's frame the front foot, tuck the back toes, and lift. Inhale to come into a lunge, work on the fingertips or on a block. Set the knee, exhale, back into half Hanumanasana. Inhale to come forward, lift the knee, drop the hip. Exhale, lift the hips up into our pyramid variation. Both legs nice and straight. Exhale, half Hanuman. Trying to, as much as possible, keeping the left rib cage close to the left thigh. Okay, next time we come down. We're gonna come all the way through our half Hanumanasana. We're gonna pivot the right foot over to the left and we're gonna crawl it back to sit down into our Janushirshasana, left leg extended. Okay, let's uh, slide our thumbs right on up to the hip crease to press down, lift the heart. Exhale, slide the hands down the leg as far as they'll go. Inhale, to slide up. Exhale, lean the heart over the leg. Maybe the hands go our legs represent all the journeys that we've taken thus far in life. Okay, next time we come down, we're going to stay there. So really square yourself up. Center of the heart goes into the center line of the leg. Release the head. Walk the hands past the foot if it's available. Press the right foot into the left thigh and vice versa. Pull the left sit bone back. Breathe into your fullness. And 
Yeah, yeah, I felt that. Everything, everything, everything. As we inhale, look at the toes. As we exhale, come on up. Forward, all the way up. And exhale, release the crown of the head to the ground. Toes of the right foot are still pointing down. So we have an L going on. Crown of the head toward the ground. And as we exhale, the right knee is going to tap the left calf. Bend both knees. Straighten both legs on the inhale. And exhale. Okay, straighten that leg out. Set the right heel in the, along the same line as the left, but the toes turn slightly out. And we're going to walk the hands as far forward as we can. We're going to pull the left hip back, roll the right hip forward, melt the heart in toward the leg. Drag the left heel back, even though it doesn't move. Kind of push it against the mat. Finish out your exhale, step to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart, and let's hug the calves. Release the head. So even though we're, the body is spilling forward into gravity, we're still gonna, we're still gonna give a little engagement to our shoulders. So pulling our shoulders upward as the crown of the head moves downward. Sway the chin from side to side. Okay, let's inhale the flat back. Exhale to plant the hands, step or float it back into plank and lower into your chaturanga. Elbows stay nice and close to the body. Inhale, press the heart forward. Exhale, over the toes into down dog. Let's come up on the toes in our down dog and as we sink the right heel and bend the left knee. Hey, stay there. <laughs> so the the right heel's coming to the ground, left knee's bent in, and the we're up on the toes of the left foot. Sink the weight into the right hand, free up the left hand, and we're gonna come in for a twist. Kind of a twist variation with our left knee bent. Maybe we can peek under our right armpit. Okay, let's release that hand. Let's come up on the toes and switch sides. So sink the left heel, bend the right knee, weight into the left hand. So we, we're taking the right hand under the body, shoulder comes under the body, and we take the outside of the left leg. Last release. Back into center. And then we're going to inhale the right leg up. Right leg, right leg. <laughs> Exhale, send it through the hands. Lower down in the back knee. So in our Anjani Asana. So let's uh, scoot the back knee for as far back as we can. Release the toes. Let's inhale to rise up. Let's exhale, circle the arms around and down. We're going to press into the thigh so we can really lift the heart and open this uh, this hip flexor on the left leg. In fact, let's take the left hand, reach it up and over, palm faces out to the right. On the next inhale, let's swing that right arm up too. On the exhale, we're gonna reach forward and down on the inside of the right leg. Coming into a lizard pose. 
So keep the knee on top of the ankle. If it wants to wing out, we're going to pull it in close to the shoulder. Start to walk the hands forward, knee beyond to the elbows. Wherever you are, let's tuck the back toe, lift the back knee off the ground. Let's try to do so without popping the hips. Let's keep the hips nice and low to the ground and straighten through that back leg. Press strong back through that heel to get the lift. And exhale, let's lower that back knee, release the toes. Come up on the hands, turn the right toes out at a 45 degree angle. Keep the rest of the body nice and square along the mat. Start to scoot the toes out to the side. So we're doing an angled splits. Maybe walk the hands in toward the hips if that feels good. Uh, to allow gravity to help you sink into this pose a little bit more. Maybe you get blocks to help you lift. Okay, what, what, are we, what are we looking for? We're looking to roll that left hip into the earth. If, that, if, if all of that is too much, you can come down lower, come down lower, whatever feels best for your body. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we're going to lower all the way onto the belly and sweep that right leg back. Once we get onto the belly, we want our arms to come out of, out of the T with the palms face down. Rest the forehead on the mat. Okay, we're going to pick up our left toes. Inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to reach those toes over toward the right hand. Inhale, back to, and, and then... Uh, and then we're back to center. Okay, so that's a, uh, okay, exhale. Okay, uh, on an inhale, we pick up the right foot, reach it out to the left hand. Exhale, back down. Inhale, reach left toes to right hand. So we're rolling onto the outer uh, right hip. And the left shoulder comes off the ground. Exhale. Inhale the opposite. One more each side. Try to keep the knee from winging up to the sky. I'm kind of you know, kind of short to short my stance over here on the right. And exhale over down. Beauty. Okay. Hands under shoulders. Press up into plank or tabletop. And we all meet in down dog. And we'll inhale the left leg up. Exhale, we're going to send it through the hands. Lower down the back knee. Find our Anjani Asana. Roll the hip, the right hip in toward the ground. Scoot the right knee back as far as it'll go. And checking that the left knee is over the ankle. Let's inhale the rise up. Pull the arms behind the head. Focus right here. Focus right on that right hip. Let's take the, let's take both hands into the thigh so we can press the chest up even more. A bit more of a back bend. And then we're going to release the, the right hand, sweep it up, palm faces out to the left, and back. Using your left hand on the left thigh to give you a little more, give you a lever. On the next inhale, that left hand comes up to join the right hand. And on the exhale, both hands come to the inside of the left leg. Let's start to walk the hands forward. Let's find our lizard. Maybe our elbows are on blocks right now. Left knee stays right over the ankle. We're not winging it out, keeping everything midline. Start to tuck the back toe, lift the back knee by pressing into the heel, not lifting the hips. Gotta spiral around here really. I did not have space to do an angle splits on that side. Okay, let's lower that knee. 
release the toes. Come up on the hands, turn the left toes out at a 45 degree angle, then start to crawl, 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 crawl. Let's look back at those left toes, make sure, or the right toes, make sure it's not, we're not sickling the ankle, it's still strong back there. And that leg comes out at a 45 degrees. And we walk our hands back, pull the shoulders back, tap our hands on blocks, roll the, we, what we're looking for is rolling the right hip in toward the ground. So if that means your, your belly's on the ground already, that's great. Reach back with those right toes. And we're gonna lower our chest onto the ground. We're gonna sweep that leg around. Sway the hips from side to side. Hey, walk the hands out long. Reach, reach the fingers. Just walk the fingers as far away as they'll go. Reach the toes in the opposite direction. And then lower the elbows. Walk the elbows in. So we're in a sphinx. We're going to lean into our left hand, our left arm. So pivot the left hand so we have a base. Pick up the right foot. Reach back with the right hand and get it. As we inhale, we'll kick into that hand. And as we exhale, we'll pull the heel in toward the bum. Now, take a look. Make sure that the knee is not winged out. We want the knee to be close to the midline. Inhale to kick in. Exhale to pull. And as you pull the heel in, push the knee down to the bottom of the mat. Pushing the knee away from the hips. And next time we come in, we're going to stay. Maybe we flip our fingers over the toes. Elbow comes toward the sky. Again, keep lengthening that quad by nudging the knee down toward the left toes. Okay, let's kick into that hand. Let's exhale to release. Straight the hips. Yeah, let's find our sphinx again, elbows under shoulders, pull the chest forward, pivot on the right hand this time, pick up the left foot, again, check that it's not winging out, and then get it. Inhale to kick in, the heart lifts, shoulder opens, exhale to pull the heel in and push the knee down. So as the knee grows long toward the bottom of the mat, we're also rolling the left hip in toward the earth. And exhale, we're going to hold here, maybe flip the fingers over the toes. And press the knee away from the hips. And next inhale, kick into the hand. Exhale, release. Let's release the forehead to the mat. Let's bring the arms alongside the body, melt the shoulders into the ground. <sighs> the belly breath. <sighs> and hands underneath the shoulders, shoulders away from the ground. Tuck the toes through tabletop. Let's make our way to down dog tabletop or uh, plank. And ah, head over the feet. Okay, we're gonna head into our Hanuman. So let's go ahead and inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Lower down the back knee. Let's get our blocks handy. Uh, or our bolster. There's a a really nice way to settle into your splits if you're not all the way to the ground on a bolster. So I'm going to show that to you. So we, we let's get into our half Hanuman, right? Hips are nice and square, right legs extended. Now we're going to take this bolster and slide it. But the the left knee, about it, it 
is uh, about the middle of the bolster, touching the bolster. And so now as we kind of scoot the right foot forward and scoot the left leg back, we end up setting that right glute and uh, hamstring on the bolster. So this is a really nice way to kind of help work your, and one, another thing that this does, having the bolster snug up against the inside of the left leg, is it keeps the hips nice and square. Okay? So hug the left thigh into the bolster. Okay? What that's gonna do is get the hips nice and square. A lot of you who have been dancers before or just raced to get into splits, we, we, we tend to have turned out splits and that's not quite Hanumanasana. Hanumanasana is square. Because the whole idea is that the monkey god Hanuman leaps to the top of the mountains to get, uh, to get uh, healing herbs for Shiva. And you can't do that when you're turned up. You know, kind of, you need to be warrior ones, you know, pulling the left, the right hip back, rolling the left hip forward so we can be like, boom, straight ahead. Okay. Some of you uh, are all the way on the ground. And if you are all the way on the ground, go ahead and lift your hands up, sparkle the hands up to the sky. Breathe. And three more breaths here. And I'll stand on the bolster today. Working to keep my hips square, because I, I do tend to be one of those people who turn out my hips. And exhale, let's bring the hands forward, framing the front leg. So we can start to scoot that leg back. Start to walk the left knee forward. And come back into our tabletop. So take a moment into tabletop to feel out how you want to release that. And we'll come back into down dog. Inhale the left leg up. And exhale, send it through. Low down back knee, straighten the front leg, hips over the, the back leg, over the right leg. Okay, square yourself up before you even come down. Maybe we bring our bolster in again. Work on squaring up the hips nicely. And then we're gonna scoot the right knee back as we kind of slide the left heel forward, keeping everything nice and square and not open. <laughs> That's not our Hanuman. We're looking for a true Hanuman. You can use your hands to steer the hips. And then lift up. Just be wherever you are. We get so fixed on our destinations that we don't enjoy our journeys. I know that that's become trite, but it's so true. That's like having a summer and a winter with no fall or spring. It's like having day and night without having a dusk and a dawn. Those transition times are precious. They're amazing. Let's inhale the lift. Exhale, hands down. Let's start to scoot the front leg in. Scoot the back knee in. We're back into our half Hanuman. Get any props out of the way. And then we'll slide that left leg back. I'm just going to take a moment. Release, release. Find what your body wants. Cat cow. Extend the leg, press to the heel. Sway the hips. Take a down dog. Let's everybody take a down dog. Come down onto our bums. 
So you can either lower on the knees, swing the legs around, or you can do a half jump through. Okay, you can play with a full jump through. That's going to work out today. Wah! With a little skid. <laughs> All right. Let's sit up nice and tall, hug the knees. Breathe into the thighs. Forehead goes to the knees. Chin is tucked. Come up on the toes. And roll yourself back. <laughs> Once you arrive, let's take a knee, opposite knee, or palm onto knee. Let's inhale the arms straight as we press the tailbone into the ground. Exhale, pull the knees in to lift the tailbone, press the lower back. Okay, we're gonna take the right leg, cross it over the left. Okay, so the knees are stacked. Okay, so hug both knees in toward the chest. Let's make sure that this uh, right hip doesn't hike up. So we're gonna use our right thumb to push it down, level out the hips. So pull the knees in. Then we're gonna lift our head, tuck our chin. Get heavy through the tailbone. Look for the sensation in the outer right glute. Slide the hands down to the ankles. Okay, make sure this transition doesn't lose the integrity of the hips. Maybe you're, maybe you're holding the ankles, maybe you're holding the outer blades of the feet. But those knees need to keep coming in. And you need to keep hugging into the midline while the hips are level. And release, we're gonna maybe tuck, keep the legs crossed, maybe tuck the right toe around the left ankle, like eagle legs. Arms come to cactus arms. We're gonna just scoot the, knee, the knees over to the side or scoot the hips to the left side. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, scoot the hips to the right side as we drop the knees over to the left. Rolling onto the outer left hip. Maybe we look over our right shoulder. Take a wrap of the legs. It means that that left leg is helping to pull the right leg closer to the ground. Let your breath find its way all the way through. Let's come back to center, unravel the legs. Give them a little shake. And then we're gonna cross the left knee over the right. Bend the knees. So the knees are nice and close together, stacked. We're gonna pull them in. So it's basically a lying down cow face pose. <sighs> Let's take our left thumb into our left hip, pull it down, maybe both thumbs, just kind of level things out. And pull the knees in. As the knees pull in, the tailbone lifts, but we're gonna resist the lift with by pulling it back down toward the ground. It's not gonna make it but, uh, have that uh, intention there, have that engagement. Maybe we stay right here because we're getting a nice stretch or we slide down to the ankles, pulling the heels toward the opposite hips. And maybe we get the outer blades of the feet. Soften through the jaw. Ah. Muscles of the face coming in for a landing. So just kind of relax the whole, the whole, the whole physical expression of self. <laughs> A 
it's too easy to fall into a dichotomy of mind versus body. It's much more, it's much more a spectrum. You can't separate, you can't separate one from the other. They're integrated, they influence each other, complete interconnection. So I like to see the body as, like I said, the physical manifestation of self. It's, it's that extension of being into the physical realm, but not disconnected. Okay, release the feet. Let's uh, come into eagle legs if we can. If not, just having them cross. But if you can hook the left toes around the right ankle, great. Arms to cactus. Let's scoop the hips slightly to the left and roll onto the outer right hip. As the knees come toward the ground, let's keep both shoulders rooted, looking out over the left shoulder, turning the left cheek in toward the mat. And then the breath lengthens everything on the inhale and relaxes everything on the exhale. Come on back to center. Let's unravel the legs. Give them a shake. Let's find how the body wants to release. We're dropping the knees from side to side, circles with the knees. And because we've done a lot of in pulling in toward the midline stuff, let's release by taking a little happy baby for a few moments. So the knees spread wide, turn the soles of the feet up to the sky, take a hold of the outer blades of the feet or inner arches from the inside, from between the knees. Again, lift the head, tuck the chin. We sway from side to side. Get ahead, ease the tailbone. And if you wanna extend both legs wide, that's fine, but make sure we flatten the sacrum before we do that. So we don't wanna be like curled up in, in straightening the legs. So flatten out the sacrum, then, then extend wide. Okay, let's everybody come back in. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Uh, rest the outer blades of the feet into the interlaced palms, interlaced fingers. <sighs> And now let's bring the knees together too. And we're ready to come into Shavasana. So find whatever shape your Shavasana wants to be in today. Maybe it wants to be uh, bolster on the knees. Maybe you want to do legs up the wall. Maybe you want to do legs up the wall on the bolster. So if you're going to do legs up the wall, get snuggle a hip close to the wall. Lean back. You don't have to have a bolster for this one, but I just, I decided I'm going to. <laughs> and so wherever you are, let the heels be about hip width apart and let the toes splay away from there. Let the chin be tucked and soft so there's no wrinkles in the back of the neck. Palms up toward the sky, either down by the hips, out to the side, up overhead, wherever along that range of motion feels good right now. If your legs are up toward the sky, just really lean the heels into the wall. You're holding on to nothing. Shavasana is about release, release, release. So we're going to release the breath as well. 
No more pushing and pulling through the diaphragm, just letting the breath do its thing. Softening through the face. Settling the easily distracted attention onto this gentle ebb and flow. If you notice your mind wandering, just gently guide it back onto the tide of the breath. And if you notice like in a balancing pose, it's a series of micro movements to remain stable in a, in a balance. Just little micro adjustments to keep you stabilized. It's not a fixed state. And the same is with the focus. The exercise of focus, when we, when we start to orient the focus, there's a lot of little gentle maneuvers, mind maneuvers to keep us focused. And it's not, it's not that the mind is, has stopped working or, or stops thinking or stops being distracted. It's just as we exercise our focus, the distance between distraction and coming back into focus gets smaller and smaller. This last moment in Shavasana, just deep in the breath. Just hang out with the deep breath. I want to play with it. Start to move through the toes and the fingers. Bigger movements to the ankles and wrists. Make sure to move the legs around, especially if you're up here on the wall. Wherever you are, let's reach the arms up overhead, point the toes up, well, up toward the sky or down the mat. Stretch. And ah, let's walk the feet toward the sit bones, whether on the mat or against the wall. We're gonna roll, walk, or we're gonna roll onto one side. Take a few breaths here. 
My friends who had a bolster, let's push that bolster out of the way. And as you're ready, let's find our way up to Sukhasana. Okay, once you arrive, that's going to give you little wiggles that need to come out. <laughs> and eventually make it into your stillness. Let's inhale the arms out to the side, palms face up. Let's pull the thumbs behind the chest. Inhale. Exhale, draw in toward the center line. Settle the thumbs in the heart center. Relax the elbows and the shoulders. We'll finish off our practice with a sound of Om and three Shantis. So let's take a nice big inhale together. Exhale everything out. Hold in the summer emptiness. Inhale to begin. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. As we exhale, we gently tuck the chin, acknowledging the spirit of life and light that flows around us and through us and shines within us. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining my Hanumanasana flow this morning. Uh, next week, I think we'll be getting into core if I'm not doing a subclass. Uh, again, my name is Nancy. If you ever have any, any comments or questions during the course of the of the practice, go ahead and stick them in the comment section and I'll take a look before, uh, before signing out. But until then, uh, I hope to see you again. And have a beautiful rest of your life. Bye, everybody.